Hey y'all, welcome to my floor. Hi, my name is Joan Nagel. If you're new here, I'm an independent artist and I also work with other independent artists and labels to help them manage their online presence and get their music out into the world. Today, I wanna to show you my live stream setup and I basically have two different setups for my live streams. One is for my social media live streams like on Instagram and TikTok and the other is for my more formal shows that I put on on YouTube or sometimes Stage It or Zoom. When I do my streams on social media like TikTok and Instagram, I'm usually doing it as a sort of last minute, very casual. I just wanna, you know, log in and play a few songs, maybe take some requests, hang out with some people online and commune. I very spontaneously decided to go live because I was able to do so. Now, these are great questions. I'm enjoying them. You love the question taught us to know one another. And it's all a true story. For my more formal performances on YouTube or Stage It or Zoom, I set them up like I would an in-person live performance because to me, that's what it is. It's a virtual version of the in-person performance. For both setups, I use the same equipment for the audio because that's the most important component. You know, you want to be able to hear everything clearly and you want it to sound good. I've been live streaming for a long time, but it was only a few years ago that I decided I wanted to update my system, especially regarding the audio. Up until that point, I had basically just been using the microphones on my phone or my camera and doing my best to make the room sound as good as it could so it would come across in the video. Two jumps in a week, I bet you think that's pretty clever, don't you boy? my way Getting good at starting over Every time that I But then I thought, you know, I'm a musician. The audio needs to be good. So I went looking for an audio interface that I could use for my live streaming. When I was looking, I had a few requirements. One very important requirement was that I wanted it to be a very easy setup. I wanted to have something that I could just plug directly into my phone or directly into my laptop and immediately have really good sound without having to have additional software or multiple components to make it work with streaming. I really wanted it to be super, super simple and fairly portable because I don't just live stream from my bedroom. Sometimes I go to my friend's place and I live stream with them. So I needed something that I could easily take from place to place. Another very important requirement that I had, I needed at least four inputs. And ideally, I wanted eight. Another requirement I had is I wanted to have onboard effects, some things that I could add a little bit of verb or delay. As I was thinking about this, I'm like, you know, what I really want is just a mixing board with a USB out. There were other solutions available at the time that could connect me directly to my phone or my laptop, but a lot of them were missing some of my crucial elements, like the onboard effects or not having to have additional software, and most of them didn't have enough inputs. Fortunately, I did enough digging and I found something that hit all the marks, and here it is. This is my Alesis Multimix 8 USB FX. This is exactly what I was looking for, and the price was literally unbeatable for what I needed. I found this one used, and they had a discount on it because of a visual defect. Let me show you that visual defect. It's missing a knob. That's it. And I haven't replaced it because I can still turn it without any issue. But if I was going to, I'd still be paying less than even some of the used that I found on Amazon now. So if you see something that says it has a visual defect, as long as it's still working, I mean, go for it. This has some really good effects on it. I'm a big fan of the plate and the hull. And if I want to turn it off so I can talk, it's really easy to hit the bypass and turn it off, or I can dial it down on the channel accordingly. Let me put this back into the hall. Are we back in the hall? Now we're back in the hall. Actually, I want the other hall. Let's, let's do this hall. This hall? This hall. This hall's a little better for this song. Oh, I got the verb back on. Hey, that verb. 
because I'm using this mixing board, I can essentially just plug in all my instruments the way I would for a live event. I have the control of the EQ and how wet or dry. I can pan, control volume, control gains, all the things you do in a typical live performance, but I have a USB out. So for my social media setup, I have my USB A out that goes into my USB A to lightning adapter and into my phone. I'm using an iPhone 13 Pro Max, but it will work for any smartphone. Uh, you just need to make sure you have the proper dongle for your input, so USB A to whichever you require for your phone. The beauty of this is that I plug it in and immediately it just becomes the audio input. So if I am filming content or I'm doing a live stream or even using my voice memos, it all just goes right in through the lightning cable. So easy, no other software needed. It just works just like that. And it's the same on my laptop with my USB-A to USB-C adapter. Another very cool thing about this board is that I can simultaneously have an in-person live performance and stream it. I just do the main outs for the live audience and I do the USB for the live stream and I can run it all and everybody's going to get the same sound. We plug in the mic with my XLR, plug in the guitars with the quarter inch, I can plug in an iPad or even this cool little Spark Mini amp with this quarter inch to eighth inch. You can also have the monitor or what I like to use most of the time is this headphone out as my sort of in-ear monitor. And I have this really long, long extension so no matter where I'm sitting, <laughs> I have enough. For my live stream, I like using these small earbuds rather than my large headphones because they hide in my hair. This is my microphone. It's the Audix Ohm 2. It's a really great microphone. I really like it for my voice because it picks it up very nicely. As much as I love the kind of industry standard SM58s, for some reason they don't really pick up my voice as well. So I really like this microphone for me. And then I have this foam pop filter. We got the mic stand with the boom. My phone is set up on this Manfrotto tripod, but I do sometimes just grab my little stand that I use for like FaceTiming my family and throw it up on a table like this and just use it like that. I've even taken it and thrown it up on my weights just to get a little height. Whatever I have lying around, sometimes this is so spontaneous I don't feel like pulling out the tripod. But I love it. I've got my clip for my iPhone and I can turn it if I want to do horizontal, but usually on streaming I'll do the vertical. I do also create content using this setup so I can turn it whatever way I want. And if I want to create content, I'll usually use the backside camera because it's a better camera. For streaming, of course, I like to have it front facing so that I can see what people are saying and make sure I answer questions. I'm gonna fight them all. Seven Nation Army couldn't hold me back. Taking their time right behind my back And I'm talking to myself at night Cause I can't forget For my acoustic I've got my Fishman of course that I will then plug into the board. And speaking of the guitar input, that is a complaint I have about the board. There's just so much noise when I plug in my guitars, whether it's my acoustic or my electric, there's a lot of noise that comes in. But from what I have experienced, it's mostly me hearing that noise in my sort of in-ear monitors with my headphones and it doesn't come across as much in the videos or the live streams so it hasn't really been a problem but it is a little bit annoying. Another thing that I've noticed about this is that the overall volume comes through a lot quieter than I expect from what I'm hearing in my headphones. So there's separate control for volume for monitor, mains, and headphones. But even if I set up my main and my headphones to the same point, the main seems to come out a lot quieter than what I'm hearing in my headphones. The mix sounds the same in the headphones as the main out. So the effects and the EQ all sound the same. It's just the overall volume is a lot quieter than it is in my headphones. This hasn't been a huge problem. The way that I work it out is I just make sure I do a really good sound check and I do my sound check through an unlisted live stream link for my very formal performance. And then when I'm on like social media, I'll just be like, hey guys, am I loud enough? Can you guys hear me? You guys can hear the guitar. 
Another cool thing I like to do for all my live streams is lighting. For my formal live streams, I will set up really great lighting all over and I'll have the look, so it's kind of like a stage. But when I'm doing my casual social media setup, I'll just kind of throw some lights on for fun, like this one. This is a really cool bat that I have. It has its own little tripod and it does have the option to switch it to RGB. We have that dial for that. I also have this one which has a similar setup where I can do warm and cool light or I can do RGB, all kinds of different color, really fun. And this one has a really nice diffuser on it so I really like using this in like a kind of warm light to light my face and then using something like this somewhere in the background uh, or pointing somewhere to just give a little bit of ambiance. This is my new favorite light, this tube light from Nanlite. So right now it's on a cycle mode, so it's gonna switch between a couple different colors. And that's really fun when I want some ambiance, you know, just like a cool look. I can switch it to something static. I can do effects like lightning effects and things like that. I love using these to just kind of add some fun flair to my live streams, whether it be my more formal performance or just my casual social media performance. Gave me something I didn't have. I was too weak to give in, too strong to lose. For my more formal live stream performances, I like to treat those like a live performance on stage. And so I set myself up more in a stage-like environment. I will actually sit on a stool or stand, not just in my bedroom. I will put up lots of really nice lights and maybe throw a couple of scarves or whatever, just make it look cool, especially with the lighting, because to me, that's what really makes it feel like a stage. Where I can see you for who you Truly on the sun highlights Every scar it's so beautiful Oh, how's it gonna feel? difference between my social media performance and my more formal live streaming performance is the video quality. I use the same audio for both. The Alesis plugs into my phone really easily and it plugs into my laptop very easily. For my more formal setup, I like to have better video quality, so I will use my Sony A6500, plug it into my laptop, and then run it through OBS to stream on my YouTube. Or if I'm using Zoom, I just go directly into Zoom. But the Sony Sony A6500 was not made as a streaming or a webcam style camera. So in order for this camera to work on the laptop, I need this. So I take this cool little cable that plugs into my Sony with HDMI out into this cam link to a USB-A. Then I plug my USB-A end to my USB-A to USB-C and it goes right into my laptop. And I, of course, also use my Alesis for audio. So instead of the USB-A to lightning, I use USB-A to USB-C. This is like a multi-use dongle. It's got the two USB-A, HDMI, USB-C, and it has an ethernet port. And that is super crucial as well for the live streams so that I can have a stable connection with the best quality that is possible for the internet speed that I have. I plug this in to my laptop and then I use the OBS software, which I can then add my camera and add my Alesis board and start streaming it out to the appropriate channels. This is the A6500 and I use this Zeiss lens. So this lens is really great because it's a zoom lens. So if I really need to, I can be further out and kind of zoom in. I love this camera. I use it for so many different things. I have filmed many videos, taken many photos, including documentaries and interviews, vlogs. It is so easy to use. And even if you don't know how to use a camera, the auto settings on this are really incredible and just produce quality video and photo. 
One downside about this camera though is that this screen does not flip all the way up or out and that means I can't see what I'm framing. Most of the time I am doing all of this by myself. I'm the sound person, I'm the performer, I am the camera person, I'm the room moderator. It can be a little problematic when I can't see what I'm framing, which is why I use this nifty little guy. It has a mirror inside. And when I mount it here, it will reflect what's here and then I can see. Hey guys. Hey. So that's pretty much it. That's my live stream setup. This is how I put on my live streams on my Instagram and TikTok and my YouTube. And I hope that it was helpful to you. This is by no means a video to tell y'all how to set up your live stream. This is just how I do it. I already had a lot of these cables and a lot of these devices, so some of these things I just happen to have and some of the things I purchased with the intention of using them for my live stream experience. Like my lights, I didn't go and buy these lights. They were gifted to me. They're pricey, so you may not wanna spend that kind of money. It's just as easy to get something like a ring light so you can have really good lighting for your whole face and and at a very affordable price. I already had my Sony a6500 camera for many years before I started using it for live stream, so it only made sense to me to just get something to use to adapt it to the laptop. But there are tons of cameras out there now that you can just plug straight into your laptop and get amazing quality footage, and they're really affordable. What are some things that you like to use for your live stream setups? Do you use an iRig? Do you have a camera that directly plugs into your laptop? Do you only use your phone? What are some wish list items that you have for your own live stream setup? Let me know in the comments below. I'm so grateful to be able to do what I love and I'm so grateful to be able to share it with you. So thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope to see you at the next one and I hope to see you at my next live stream either here on my YouTube channel or on my social media accounts. So make sure you're following me in all the places. I'm gonna put it all over the screen and in the description so you know what to do. Go go find it at Joan Eagle at Joan Eagle Music. I'll see y'all at the next live stream. Okay, thanks, bye. Baby.